Hi everyone. Today in this video, let us discuss one of the medications, dupilumab. What is this drug, dupilumab? The suffix "mab" indicates it is one of the monoclonal antibody. Dupilumab is one of the IL-4 receptor antagonist, so it is not acting like an immunosuppressant. Instead, it can antagonize the actions of IL-4, thereby it can reduce inflammatory response that is associated with T cell activity. So this drug can be used in the conditions like atopic dermatitis, in conditions like moderate to severe atopic dermatitis, dupilumab can be given. When the topical corticosteroids or other alternative drugs are not effective, in such conditions, dupilumab can be used to control atopic dermatitis. Interestingly, this drug can be given both in the children as well as in the adults. Within the children with age greater than or equal to 6 years, dupilumab can be used to control atopic dermatitis. Another clinical indication of this dupilumab is again in one of the allergic condition. This drug can be used to control the moderate to severe asthma, where other drugs are not useful to control the number of attacks. In such conditions, dupilumab can be given to reduce the asthmatic attacks and improve the lifestyle. This is particularly more important in those patients where asthma coexists with eosinophilic activation. That's why this drug can also be used in the conditions like eosinophilic esophagitis, where inflammation of the esophagus because of elevated levels of eosinophils can be controlled by dupilumab. Similarly, this drug can also be used for rhinosinusitis, where there is a swelling of nasal pathway because of any inflammation. Again, in such conditions, this drug can be used. Similarly, prurigo nodularis, where the skin nodules can be observed because of any pruritic conditions, which may result in itching and swelling of the skin. In all these conditions, dupilumab can be used as a IL-4 receptor antagonist. So today in this video, we are going to see how this drug acts, what are the important precautions, side effects, doses, all these things we will discuss in this video. The first important thing is the administration of dupilumab. Where is the site of injection? Just like many of the subcutaneous injections, this dupilumab can be given to the abdomen, thigh, where self-administration is possible. But when it is given to the upper arm, care should be taken because it may produce some swelling and hypersensitive reactions at the site of injection. During the administration, precaution should be taken because dupilumab injection is stored in the refrigerator. From the refrigerator, the injection, which is available as a pre-filled pen, otherwise it is available as a pre-filled injection, both should be taken out of the refrigerator and they should be kept at room temperature for specific time based on the dose of the drug present in the formulation. Those pre-filled pens or injections with 300 mg of the dose, they require at least 45 minutes time to be kept within the room temperature before the injection. Similarly, those formulations with 200 mg and 100 mg of the dose, they require at least 30 minutes of stabilization period at the room temperature. After the stabilization only, they should be injected and they can be given as a subcutaneous injection at 5 cm depth. But again, precaution should be taken and before injecting this drug, care should be taken to check for particular matter present in the solution. If any particular matter is observed within the solution or pre-filled pen, then immediately they should be discarded as they may lead to severe hypersensitive reactions. Now let us see how this drug acts. One of the target for dupilumab is the IL-4 receptors. Similarly, other types of receptors coexist for both IL-4 as well as IL-13. Now, IL-4, interleukin-4 and interleukin-13 are the two important mediators which can stimulate inflammatory reactions by activating various types of peptides. IL-4 can bind to the IL-4 receptor. And it can also bind to the another receptor where IL-13 co-binds. So now by activation of IL-4 and IL-13, these receptors can stimulate one of the pathways, STAT-6 pathway, which is going to be phosphorylated. Now this STAT-6 can interact with the DNA within the nucleus, where it can produce a gene transcription and release few of the proteins. These proteins can induce inflammatory response and allergic response. Because of these mediators, and control of few of the peptides, they can stimulate the symptoms like asthma and eczema, resulting in atopic dermatitis, esophagitis, and bronchospasm. Now, dupilumab is one of the monoclonal antibody. 
it can bind to the IL-4 receptor as antagonist so that it can inhibit this IL-4 and IL-13 pathway. By this, it can inhibit release of mediators which can stimulate the asthma and eczema. Now, what is the precautions of this drug? One of the important precautions of dupilumab is that this drug can affect the eye and it can produce inflammation of the eye resulting in conjunctivitis. So, redness of the eye can be observed. It can also produce keratitis, inflammation of the keratin layer. All these can produce few of the ocular symptoms like eye pain, ocular discomfort, some dryness of the eye and any discharge from eye can also be observed. If these symptoms are observed, then dupilumab should be carefully used because it can produce inflammatory reactions within the eye. Dupilumab can stimulate eosinophilic pneumonia. So this drug can increase the conditions like eosinophilia. Even it can increase the cardiovascular complications. Vasculitic rash can be increased which may coexisting with asthma. So in such people, dupilumab should be carefully used as it may increase the incidence of pneumonia in the people. Similarly, dupilumab should not be given for treatment of acute symptoms of bronchospasm, asthma, acute exacerbations should not be treated by dupilumab. This drug is only indicated in the treatment of moderate to severe asthma along with other agents to control the number of attacks. So the patient should not withdraw any anti-asthmatic drugs while using the dupilumab because it may further increase the acute bronchospasm and this drug is not intended for acute symptoms of asthma and bronchospasm. Similarly, along with the dupilumab, other drugs can also be prescribed like corticosteroids which can be used to treat inflammatory reactions as well as asthmatic conditions. But after use of dupilumab, corticosteroids should not be withdrawn suddenly because they can develop few of the withdrawal symptoms like increase in the dizziness, bronchospasm, weakness and mood changes can be observed. So while initiating the therapy with dupilumab, corticosteroid should not be suddenly withdrawn. If it is required, they should be slowly tapered in order to eliminate any withdrawal symptoms in the people. Similarly, dupilumab should not be given to the people with pre-existing helminth infections. That's why any pre-existing helminth infection should be treated with anti-helminthic agents. They should be properly used before initiation of dupilumab therapy. This is because dupilumab can inhibit the activity of anti-helminthic agents. So in presence of this drug, anti-helminthic agents are ineffective resulting in the increased risk of helminth infections leading to various gastrointestinal effects. That's why any pre-existing helminth infection should be thoroughly treated before initiating dupilumab. Just like many of the monoclonal antibodies, this drug can also produce hypersensitive reactions. So severe hypersensitive reactions may be observed. It may also result in angioedema, anaphylaxis. So in case of any severe systemic hypersensitive reactions, then this drug should be withdrawn and should not be used. In few of the people, dupilumab can produce arthralgia, joint pain. So in the people with pre-existing joint disorders, this drug should be carefully given. When this dupilumab given to the children, the vaccination schedule should be thoroughly followed. But at the same time, this drug should not be combined with live vaccination, which may interact with dupilumab. Because the effectivity of live microorganisms is inhibited by dupilumab, which results in the decreased immunogenicity with vaccination. So live vaccination should be avoided with this drug. Now let us see the side effects of this drug. One of the important side effects of this drug is on the eye, so it can produce some conjunctivitis, dry eyes, keratitis, inflammation of eyelids, oral herpes infections, eosinophilia, oropharyngeal pain, arthralgia, myalgia, muscle pain, and some dizziness can be observed with this drug. How it is given? This drug is given as a subcutaneous injection. It is available in two forms, pre-filled pens or pre-filled syringes. At different strengths, it is available 300 mg, 200 mg and 100 mg. The last dose is 100 mg is available as pre-filled syringe only. For the adults and the children with age greater than 12 years, this drug can be initiated at a dose of 600 mg as two injections because each injection is having 300 mg of the dose. So these two injections can be given at different sites in order to avoid any reactions at site of injection. And further dose can be given 
as 300 mg for every two weeks so at alternate weeks 300 mg dose can be given in order to control atopic dermatitis or any asthmatic attacks but in the children the dose is somewhat less for the children with age 6 to 11 years based on the body weight the dose can be fixed in the children with body weight greater than 30 kg it can be given at a dose of 200 mg every two weeks in the children with body weight 15 to 30 kg it can be given in two ways as 100 mg for every two weeks otherwise 300 mg every four weeks in this way dupilumab can be given both in the children as well as in the adults but in the children with age greater than or equal to six years this drug can be used so that's all about this drug dupilumab one of the monoclonal antibody that acts as a IL-4 receptor antagonist. This drug can be used for the treatment of moderate to severe asthma as well as atopic dermatitis. It can also be used for other conditions which are associated with inflammatory disorders. So that's all about this drug Dupilumab. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Share this video with your friends. Post your comments in the comment box. Thank you for watching this video.